Looking forward to walking your Warhound Titans onto the epic battlefields? Hi there, Chris here with another unboxing for you all. In this video, we are going to take a look at the Titan Legion's Warhound Titans with Ursus Claws and Melta Lances for Warhammer the Horus Heresy Legion Imperialis, the game of epic scale combat. Big thank you to Games Workshop for sending me a review copy of this box. Big thank you to all of my patrons for their continued support, as well as all you brand new ones. And of course, a big thank you to everybody here on the YouTubes clicking that membership button. Big, big thank yous to you all. So, Warhound Titans for Titan Legions. Now, the main, the big box that uh, was released uh, some time ago came with two Warhound Titans with an extra frame of weaponry. And I'm suspecting this might be the same kind of thing because these look like the uh, more contemporary Warhounds they use. This has got two epic scale Warhound miniatures and they are fantastic. Legio Griffonicus. Very, very cool. So Ursus Claw, Missile Pods, Incisor Pattern, Melta Lance, and Volkite Eradicator. Ooh, for eradicating all your Volkites, apparently. It also has a uh, transfer sheet. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, I'm very excited about this. Uh, it's for Leg Adeptus Titanicus as well as Legion Imperials because it's all the same scale, it's the same game, and it's the same miniatures. Very, very cool. Very, very interesting. How often do we get a lot of miniatures that cross over into other games? For example, bands, war bands in Warcry, Age of Sigmar, Warhammer Underworlds, Age of Sigmar, right? So it's kind of cool that we get like, you know, models with, you know, dual purposes across different games and having different rules and, you know, everything like that. It's just kind of interesting, you know? I know, it's just, <laughs> somebody out there's like, you know, yeah, Chris, so who cares? But anyway. <laughs> Let's bust out the trusty, rusty blade of destiny here and let's cut our way through. And of course, yes, the box has been uh, provided with cellophane. Uh, you know, honestly, really, I think an, an additional thank you should be uh, said here because you know what? These unboxing experiences are, feel a little bit more complete when we have the cellophane, the plastic wrap on the boxes because then it really feels like a true unboxing experience and so yeah i really really enjoy that anyway let's come in for some asmr okay you guys ready you ready i think you're ready here we go Ooh, that wasn't bad it wasn't great here let's, let's do a big one okay we ready for a big one that was bigger but it wasn't great we're looking for that perfect thing All right, so let's dive right in. Of course, yes, the tab, the box has that lovely little tabs. Uh, you know, like honestly, whoever is designing these boxes over at uh, G Dubs, um, keep keep doing keep doing the work. Keep doing the work. Oh, interesting. It has a Titanicus thing in here. The the battle cards. Very very interesting. So it's got its transfer sheets. Oh, it's the Titanicus transfer sheet. Huh. I wonder why this. Was this included in the big box for uh, Legion Imperialis? I don't recall seeing this because this this sheet is not familiar to me. Because it has the Adeptus Titanicus Warhound Titan transfer sheet. It's got Legio Griffonicus, Legio Furians, Legio Astrum, Legio Ataris, and Legio Mortis. Very very cool. Okay. And the uh, instruction guide is in a plastic booklet. So let's just open this up. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Um, it's interesting that it's it's both it's it's both games. So we have the Titanicus booklet here, and it has the the data sheet. The uh, what is it? The maniple, I think, is what it's called. Isn't that what that's this is called? I haven't. I have yet to play a game of the modern Titanicus. So yeah, very very cool. I like it. It's got the card. It's got some um, some weapon cards. Very, oh, look at that. Oh, I see. So you have your you have your weapon system on the card. And then when your stuff gets blown up and what have you. Ah, that's cool. Yeah, I definitely have to give a Titanicus a try. The instruction guide gives us... What's it giving us? It's, it's not terribly thick, but it's pretty... Got some substantial pages to it. Looks like it's about, you know, eight pages. And so let's have a look. Assembly. 
fairly straightforward. Yeah. Yeah, I'm suspecting this is the same uh, frame that comes in the big box of uh, Titan or, um, <laughs> Legion Imperialis. Yeah, so we have the Volkite Eradicator, Incisor Pattern, Melted Lance, Natix, Natix, Shock Lance, Ursus Claw, and Missile Pods. And then I imagine it also has probably the default weaponry for the Warhounds, or is it just with these weapons? Interesting. Okay. And then, of course, we're having a look at the frames here, and all three frames are unique. And yeah, here's the weapon. I think this is the same frame that comes in the big box. So we are getting, I think, uh, essentially that uh, release. Yeah, we got all the bits for the Titan here, and <laughs> the top parts for the Warhound. Yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, we also get two big uh, Imp Legion Imperialis bases, and that is it. So. Let's have a closer look at these frames. And, oh, I don't know, let's, um, yeah, let's have a little sniff around. Let's see, let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. Let's, there's something afoot here. There's something afoot. Uh, hopefully it doesn't smell like feet. Maybe dog feet? Does your dog's feet smell like Cheetos? All right, we're taking a closer look at the frames. We're starting off with the one that has all the little superstructure legs and everything like that in the box. And yeah, these are pretty darn cool. I have yet to put these little fellers together yet. I like them now. This frame has both of the superstructures as well as the legs and other little doodads. What's that little doodad? Is that a hip joint? Maybe it's a elbow joint, hip joint, pelvis. I don't know. It's probably for the arms, because I think that's the arms, right? That's the, like, between the shoulders kind of thing. <laughs> Has never assembled one, but he's uh, speculating on how it all goes together, right? <laughs> oh, they even put detail on the underside of the foot. That's rare. That is rare that you see that on miniatures, because typically you don't see that, right? And I can appreciate the effort because sometimes you want to use these things in a diorama and you want those details to be there so that you don't have to try and make it up yourself and sculpt the details and what have you, right? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, though, that they do that. Um, in fact, I kind of I kind of would have liked it, you know, if they kind of went the route of, like, scale models where, you know, they kind of try to make these details kind of, you know, legit, like, you know, logical and, you know, see so got batteries and carburetors and you know things of that nature right like just the details you know next frame is the armor focus focus hey i said focus there we go get the little hound heads these little doodads i don't know what they are those look like the shin guard back armor covers and this is the main body cover yeah very very cool that's a, that's a groin armor. Why would you have four groin? That can't be groin. It's gotta be something else. I'm probably way off on that. <laughs> hey, there's three heads on this frame. Why is there three heads on this frame? Different heads? Got some head options? Oh my gosh, there's head options. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they got alternate heads. Is there a roaring head? Is that what it is? Oh, there's more heads. Jeez, please. There's like four heads on this thing. What is going on? Oh, they're different stuff. Oh, because this one can be a chaos one, and this one's a loyal one. Okay. Answered my own question. Yeah, see? Chaos. Uh, loyal. Loyal. Chaos-y. Yeah, okay. That's what it is. That's why they have these extra details. Right, because he's the loyal, and that's the that's the groin armor. That's the chaos -y one. Okay. I get it. I get jokes. <laughs> All right, and let's have a look at the uh, weapon frame. Uh, this is the one that should be really, really interesting because it's going to have a lot of little fun little things going on here once this thing focuses. There we go. Yeah. Very cool. I think we have looked at this frame before. I suspect we have. Don't quote me on that. But I think we have. I am suspecting we have. 
I wonder, can you throw two Meltas on this guy? Because it looks like you can build two Meltas. Yeah. Right? I wonder, is that like double of each arm? No, it can't be. That's too many. That'd be too many. Missile pots up. Now, there's a difference I'm going to assume between these missiles and those missiles. Right? I'm going to assume. But you know what happens when you assume. And if you don't, well, ask your parents. <laughs> ask your mom and dad. What happens when you assume? Dad, what happens when you assume? The guy on YouTube said, ask you. Very, very cool. All right, let's come in for a sniff test. Remember, folks, don't forget to spay or neuter your warhounds. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a warhound. It's a warhound, and, you know, you can't fault them for being warhounds. Okay, let's get back to the rest of the video. That is our look at the new Titan Legions Warhound Titans with Ursus Claw and Melta Lances for Warhammer, the Horse Heresy Legion Imperialis. Big thank you to Games Workshop for sending me a view copy of this box set. Big thank you to my patrons for their continued support, as well as all of you brand new ones. And a huge thank you to everybody here on the YouTubes clicking that membership buttons. Big, big thank yous to you all. You allow me to continue to do what it is that I do. And so a huge thank yous to you all. If you're not able to support monetarily, i.e. money, thumbing up the video, liking, following, subscribing, commenting, ringing the bell, all help the channel as well. And all it takes is a couple clicks of a button and you're helping me out a great deal. And a huge thank you to everybody who takes the time to do that. Take care of your brushes. They'll take care of you. And I will see you in the next unboxing or useless review maybe a painting tutorial been doing the quick tips again yeah check out the playlists go ahead go ahead click it click it i dare you i dare you i double dog dare you to click it also do live streams weigh the brush live streams painting live streams and uh you know review live streams and all sorts of craziness and of course battle reports they are very few and far between i do plan on rectifying that once i finally get my stuff in gear so <laughs> big thank you to everybody for their addition additional pay, uh, patience and so a big thank you to everybody um i think that's it is that all yeah warhound titans yeah titans everybody loves a titan <laughs> okay bye